the event is about to begin. Make your way to the prep room. Make your way to the prep room. Oh, yeah. I don't remember his voice being that deep. What? Hey, what? Yeah, yeah, I just got took a break from yeah, VR. We're doing it for a minute. Okay, so it's it's my first time doing it. Here's the... but, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the virtual reality. I don't really know what to expect. I'm gonna punch you now. Got him. Oh, yeah. That's so quiet. Who is snoring? Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. No cell tonight. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. It seems you've met with an uncertain fate. You find yourself at an interdimensional crossroads. A rendezvous of travelers between worlds. My name is Jean. I am a highly metastasized, infomorphic, mimetic meme complex. And one of the tour guides of VR Travelers. Together, we create immersive, interactive, story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, wholesome team effort, and characters who are depending on you. Welcome to the Rendezvous, our point of contact to the narrative domain. Travelers, tonight we will be telling the story of the Scavenger, and tonight the Encephalon will dictate our choices towards the good ending, as this is a rerun. However, you are welcome to make choices as you would. Travelers, Tucker. you are also welcome to stream and or record tonight's event. Now, truly the, the greatest honor the mortal real number domain has ever bestowed upon myself. Yes, tra travelers, it is my honor. To introduce to you the greatest voice actor to ever grace the worlds of VRC. The one, the only, Frey Gem. Wait, there's okay. emojis in here, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They trade well, the pieces. Woo! Cube. That's not the one I wanted. Champagne. Good evening, friends, and welcome. My name is Trey Jim, and I will be your tour guide tonight. It is an honor to meet you. 
deny it. There are only two rules. First of all, whenever we stop for narration, please kindly refrain from speaking so that the story may continue. However, you are encouraged to talk amongst yourselves as we move from point to point. And two, please kindly remain with me at all times. As always, my fellow tour guides Sheen and Rendizo are here to help you. If you need any help, please take them aside, and you are free to add any or all of us as friends. We will accept. This is especially important because tonight's instance is an invite plus world, which means if for some reason you need to make it back into the world, you need to send someone who is already there an invite request to be able to join. It is recommended to do this to the tour guides who are not telling the tour. Tonight, that means Sheen and Rendizo. Now, my friends, those in front of me, kindly stand aside, and I will attempt to drop a portal to tonight's narrative. Please do not enter the portal until I give the signal. My friends, it seems the portal is stable. Please wait for me at the sprayer on the other side. Go! Uh, as long as my stick drift doesn't fuck up right now, I'll be fine. <laughs> oh, I somehow survive. Oh that, God, that is. Careful. Looks like transferring over here is doing alright. Brett. Why can't shoot me like that, man? I don't even have guns. I can't shoot back. Now, this is somewhere very mis- oh. Fucking ultra kill looking head. I don't want to clip into the wall. Yeah, that's just one of- that's just the titan that keeps this afloat. And it's yeah, it's climbables. Like this is a very nostalgic uh, map, honestly. 
honestly. It's like years cool. since I played Xenoblade 2. I am good at climbing. Oh god. Climbed on oh god, what, what did I just do? Well, okay. here's the thing. Oh Th this climbing is way glitchy. Yes, we are. Oh. Like, this is uh, <laughs> the main character's home. Still, I'm a very glitchy climbing. I know how to climb. <laughs> <Too bulky. laughs> yeah, but I don't think you want to climb too much. You're going to get yourself dizzy with all that land freaking yeah, out. Cast like me? <laughs> oh uh, man, hey! I, I see you! I'm gonna come over! Yeah, oh, my computer's not like that mirror. Oh god. Yeah. Oh, oh. wait, can you climb? Oh. Climb? Thanks, Sarah, oh, man. Climb. You are my oh, brother. Yeah, you can climb. You be careful with the climbing. You can slip through things you're not meant to. It is very easy to clip through walls with climbing. Oh, yeah. I do it all the time. Wait. Oh, Please refrain oh, from using the climbing feature Ow. during tonight's story. Right. There we go. Because you can fall through the world. Huh. Like right now, I'm kind of stuck. Like, hey, look. <laughs> and that's the example today. I don't think we were looking. Well, you guys. It was a lesson. You guys are supposed to. Uh, no one ever wants to learn lessons. Actually, I just realized we're on the whale. Yeah. We're on the space yeah. whale. As long as it's not a giant spider. Yeah, so it's really yeah it's fine. As long as it's not. Bu well, they didn't fight dragons that one time. Out. So as long as they're not dragons or bugs. Wait, wait, it is like this. I mean, it's like this. It's like this. It is like this. No. It's like this. At, like first, first thing, We're like you're like fighting game. like giant ants and shit. Next Did thing, you're fighting the entire dragon race in the Skyrim. Yes. Yeah, that sounds. Yeah, that sounds yeah, so as long as there's no dragons in this, we'll be fine. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll just <laughs> we'll just bring in a big ass Gundam to just um a punch that nondescript yeah. lizard. Yeah. Too uh, bad. You might uh, look uh, at our feet. <laughs> are the lizards the ravagers? That's not a dragon. That's well, a that's well, a whale. It's fine. Us. No, I've played the game. I can totally the 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 Yeah, that's the no. whale. That's a dragon. That's, that's, that's so that's not whale. cramped. This is the dragon. Oh shit, I have to punch it. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Standing we need here, Peter. Ari. <laughs> Ari. Oh, Fence are literally just Dragon's lucky I haven't combat. imported guns into this model yet. <laughs> but no, no, Fencer is like this. Oh, let's do use... Oh, there's an alien attack happening. Let's use my hammer. Patience. <laughs> Always remember. <laughs> calling a uh, aerator a support class is an insult to it. Doing that fucking remember, video like remember. quintupled the game's player base in a day. It it did. <laughs> fucking Russian yeah. that's, that's wonderful, honestly. EDF it's is really good. Yeah. Remember, yeah. remember, when you play EDF and your teammate is using a, um, a wing wing diver, close your doors. Yep, close your doors. <laughs> oh god, punching the dragon hurt my arms a bunch now, fuck. Also, uh... <laughs> I mean, I mean, you man, were I, I, I'll be honest, I kind of feel um, just like how wing diver gets nerfed like yeah. every single game after four. I mean, the thing is, I mean, I the think thing they're is, nerfing like, Air Raider in six because, like, he having gets having drones so full through. on air, like, air raids in that. Wait, we have EDF six confirmed. No, no, no. Already? Air Raider is like Air Raider. Yeah, it's oh, no. coming out in Japan oh, no. in like a week. Ten. Oh fuck yeah. What's up? It's probably Nine. gonna take like a year. Oh. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Starting sequence. Please turn your world music down to zero. I repeat, please turn your world music down to zero. Like turn off your music entirely or just don't worry yeah. for now? You should hear nothing. Alright. Without further ado, the story begins.
they say, the last piece of land silently slipped away into the cloud sea 4,000 years ago. Ever since that day, people have resorted to living in buildings and airships carried by great creatures called titans. Some resemble gigantic fish, while others represent mammals or reptiles. One of few bastions of civilization left afloat is called Argentum. A thriving trade city carried by the largest remaining titan known called Goldmouth. Ever since the last land vanished, titans have been dying, taking with them any humans who were relying on them at the time. You can discern how healthy a titan is by looking at its gills, the glowing stripes on its body. Brighter and bluer is better. At some point in the future, they say, at this rate, there will be no more titans left to live on. No more people. Just white clouds and white sky. And now, to our protagonist. My friends, please put your world music back on to a comfortable level and let its energy fill your blood. Ah, nice and comforting. The scavenger <laughs> has lived alone in his home on the back of his own Titan for 12 years now, ever since his father passed away peacefully in his sleep. Since then, his only company has been this Titan, affectionately dubbed Gramps, and those he sees when he visits Argentum. The scavenger has a mental link with his Titan. It's a common thing to happen between a Titan and whoever captains it. They've both grown used to staying out of one another's minds, unless they really have to. In case you haven't figured it out, the scavenger makes a living by diving into the dense ether sea and pulling up any scraps he can sell at Argentum's Bazaar. You'd be surprised at what builds up down there. All right, enough talk. My friends, it's time to sell some scrap materials. Let's all head over to the bazaar and see what sort of profit we can make. Please, follow I me. I found some scrap here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Putting away weapon oh, makes you faster. Goes for quite a long time. PSO2 logic. I don't want to be one again. Oh, like said, hey, okay. Hey, well, I'll just, just let the back. newcomers get the size. It's fine. Huh? Yeah. Really, I was hoping to so be able to buy some more scrap. Oh, get, get some more scrap. You know what does exist, my friends. Look behind you. Look at Gramps. Oh, she is. Yes, yes. It's a dragon I punched. In which the scavenger lives. Hold your hold, 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 hold your urge, Fencer. You already punched it enough. Well, he's all <laughs> so Let's be on our way, friends. This way. <laughs> it's just gone. Oh, Putting your rope in his way you makes you faster. I'm trying to fly up to the giant titan actually. over there. <laughs> I want to go on top of that. It's train over later. here. I remember yeah, playing this game when it just came out. You think Walter <laughs> is faster than Rod? You think what? What? The scavenger pauses. He notices something unusual. Docked to the east. It's a black ship with no 
very tight, and how is it staying afloat? That must mean it's a Torner ship. The scavenger has heard of them, and he does not like the Tornans. They carry around weapons and like to bully people. He makes a note. If he sees any Tornans, he'll try and steer clear of them. Emphasis on try. Good grief. <laughs> we'll try. But combat is inevitable when need be. You need to steal someone's gun. Yeah. It's just a thing of JRPGs. You gotta fight something. Yep. <laughs> The law. Yeah. So, anyways, has okay. anyone found any photons? Be God, this is also a JRP thing. thing. So we know photons. It's in every them, one yeah. of them, and it's completely unavoidable. I can Judge totally fit weapons. in here. I don't know hey, what you're talking about. Yeah, let's get all the photons. If family. it fits, I sit. Mm -hmm. My friends, the oh, story yeah. continues. <laughs> here we are at our gentleman's bazaar. Coming here is always a buzz for the scavenger. He can't wait to make some trades and maybe even some coin as profit. Friends, travelers, at this early, early part in the story, I have a quest for you all to complete. Please listen carefully. If you turn around, you'll see the bazaar, marked by the small orange lights hanging just above it. This will be your search area. Please remain within the bazaar as you look for the following items. A large scroll, an anvil, necklaces, and a place to sit and eat soup. You have no more than five minutes to locate all these items, but no more. Your time starts now. Oh, let's go find it, Bianco. Uh, like, uh, Anvil. Look at that. Necklace. Necklace is right here. Look at that. Look at that. It's a fun look at soup. Found the soup. Not letting the soup go to waste. Those are carpets. Nice. So, uh, let me think here. Yeah, no, I still remember a good This is a really cool map. I could wear these. Never wanted to clip into a wall. Well, that might help you in terms of navigating at the very least. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try and oh, hey, I didn't know you owned a shop after your team. the adventure. You sell spices? Mm. <laughs> what I missed so far. Dang. <laughs> they seem to be. Okay. I didn't know you owned a shop here. There's the restaurant, there's the anvil. And what was the other thing I No, you're, you're kind of in front of me. So, Sheen's ether? Sheen's ether crystals? And Sheen has run away. I apparently may have revealed his secret. Eh, he's a job, he has, he has many types of jobs. Hmm. I didn't mean to, but. Oh yeah, I mean if you get rand well, randomly selected Yeah, um, well, it's only the player Oh yeah, okay, but But <laughs> has no one just said uh, what kind of soup did he find? Delicious <laughs> Not with height Look, delicious <laughs> Yeah, sure. The color of the soup is delicious. <laughs> uh, You're not wrong. <laughs> well, actually, then again, if you unless you haven't tasted it, it might be bad tasting soup. So yes, but that's a subjective uh, matter. Exactly. <laughs> Best tasting uh. is delicious. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to seeing the good end of this because um. Uh, 
Oops. I got stuck into that there. You grabbed scratch tickets? Yeah. Scratch tickets. That's how I get my dance emotes and many cosmetics. You had? You had scratch tickets? I had. Don't forget your scratch tickets. I pick up bosses. I don't know where you're going. Oh, I spent all those scratch tickets. What happened to Geo GeoNexus? I haven't seen him in uh, many tours. I don't know, he talks in voice chat in your Travelers occasionally. No idea why he hasn't come to tours. Uh, why don't you DM him? Oh, 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 message. I just want to say hi. I haven't seen him in a while. So. Cool. Thanks. Or you can just use it. That is true. I actually did use it. Say, what are you say? Speaking, wait, speaking of PSL2, what are your thoughts on cast heals? Yeah. Well, I'm all for cast heals. I'm all for But aren't their heals sexy? Yeah, they are. <laughs> Every cast made like cast heals. When they first how did they get into the head no bomb office? I don't know, maybe use telepipe or something? Maybe. You don't find art defenders around here that often. Yeah, not very often, but when you do, it's always nice to be a fellow art defender. Or art operative, as I prefer to go by. <laughs> From the base game, right? Yep. Yeah. Big Trap's got a save point up if you want to use it. I must save my game. I gotta make sure that the toy doesn't become the good ending anyway. When you kind of get into advanced, I always remember the toy to the toes and all the good ending, which is quite fun. So that's why. Alright, I see. But I also add weight lifting for parts of my body. Okay, I'm gonna need you to wire transfer me three thousand coins, uh, and we'll be fine. I can fix the virus, you know. Uh, or you can just send me three thousand coins worth of We need to play some PSO two then. Oh. Your attention, please. Press E. Press E to look for the event. Tour time resumes. It seems we're all here. Hold on. 
Did everybody find the required items? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yep. Indeed. Affirmative. I oh, know, I just kind of fucked around with the campfire. <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> tell anyone else. Say that. Well done, friends. <laughs> the scavenger <laughs> makes some trades. He's about to head up for a bite to eat. But right as he heads for the stairs, something strikes him, not physically, but mentally, right in the middle of his head. A sudden and sharp comeback now. It takes all his attention not to be overwhelmed by it. Then he realizes what it is. Gramps, he's in trouble. My friends, we have to go back, quickly. Emergency. Uh, I don't Code. think. Defend. I don't think this is that important. Mother's instinct. Hold on, let me use my dash jumps. Wait, what? Uh, right Leave then. that space cow alone! Yeah, boy, do I love party up. Space cow? Yeah, that's what it is. like a horse. That's a uh, no, it's totally it's a wagon. <laughs> it's a okay. dragon. If it's a dragon, then why does it have a unicorn oh, horn? Because it's a dragon. Does it have horns? That's a space cow horn. My friends, all like your questions will be answered soon, but the story must go on. The scavenger skids to a halt on the pier. Gramps is looking at him, but he's not saying anything. He doesn't need to. The scavenger can already see the problem. Gramps' gills have dulled. He's not well. He's sick. No problem, says the scavenger. They'll have medicine in a bazaar. They always do. I'll be right back. My friends, I know you love to go back and forth over the same area. Let's go back to the bazaar now. Oh, it's oh, like yeah. it's a oh, bazaar. It's a 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 It's my favorite. Carbon based life while I'm doing practical physical labors for his educational purposes. I need my asthma inhaler. Because <laughs> I was born with weak so and fractional so lungs. I, I don't know, is that how people act in PE? I've never gone. I'm, I'm... How bizarre. Is this our fetch quest point? You don't get to say that. We must find, we must find the medicine. Oh, thank you. I try. We must steal. Don't worry, just, rent, just buy off a song for like 20 million instead of uh, buying it. Why not? Knows, we got enough like messed up. And let's see how much messed up I have. Oh. Give me Let's everything in on, here. Mate. I only have one mil. I don't I have anything. I don't like the store. I got a... ...10,000. I don't like it. Someone used a card shop to give us infinite money. Huh? Let's just grab some Mentos and get out of here. Mentos? The... What's Mentos gonna work? Scavenger. The fresh maker. Hurries. To the store. That normally sells such medicines. But when he asks, he hears an answer he wasn't expecting. There's nothing left. He checks a nearby store that should stock the same thing, and he receives the same answer. There's nothing left. He checks another, and another, and ends up asking everybody at the bazaar. And bizarrely, there is no medicine left. Somebody taps his shoulder. He turns. It's another scavenger, a few years older than him. He introduces himself as one of the crew members of the airship docked on the north side of Argentum. He says he couldn't help but overhear, but he's also been looking for such medicine and he hasn't able to find anything at all. 
he asks the scavenger for a favor, and the scavenger agrees. And so the crewman takes him to the north dock. My friends, something strange is happening at Argentum. This way. We spoke to Sky and Something a bit off. Something bizarre. How bizarre? How bizarre? Something bizarre is happening. The bizarre, the bizarre, bizarre adventure you could bizarre. say in Walt. George's bizarre adventure. Damn it! Someone made. Someone stole something, my joke. Something that is in not in the ordinary. Sounds pretty sussy. Something <laughs> sus. The, the key to not letting people steal your jokes <laughs> is to tell jokes that are so good people don't want to tell them. <laughs> It's just like, why they don't call the Wii U the Wii 2? <laughs> well, yeah, but then they call the Me Too movement, the Wii U 2 movement. Yeah, we know. know. This is amazing. There's a reason why they're not called the Wii 2. And we're so good, I have caught it so bad. The Wii Wii. My friends, the story Oh, yeah, continues. you're... You're right. <laughs> this is right. our ship, says the crewman. It's not much, but my family has been working on it for decades. We're particularly proud of it. The scavenger looks across it. He's not very impressed. There's something very industrial about it. But at the same time, the very idea of one family all working together on something makes him feel like he's been missing something. The crewman takes him up to the top. This way, friends. This is where I watch my parents die, scavenger. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I could be gaming. This is where you watch your okay, parents music die. Shift. <laughs> this is where I watch my parents my die, Raphael. Steal the shit! Oh, totally <laughs> radical! Cow a bummer. <laughs> Cow a bummer. Let's steal the ship. Cow a bummer. Cow a bummer. Thanks, I hate. <sighs> it's pizza time. This is why I watched my parents die, Prappa Rappa. Waka this is waka. Where you watched your parents die. Papa the Rappa. No, uh -huh. Waka waka. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay. Such a memorable <laughs> scene from Batman. All the way to the top. It's a stairway. Oh too. man, this is definitely a sort of. Oh, definitely a really Wait, high. Someone, it's, it's, it's a bit cramped up here. Oh. Someone oh, remade the Titanic okay, scene. Okay, alright. You too. Don't let go, Jack. Yes, Wait, I see an iceberg. Cramped. Oh Squeeze no. Him, RP cramped. push. You say that. Uh, you know, that works too. Oh, the cast is right. I'm surprised right. he's able to hold me up. Oh. Oh. The story oh. must continue, friends. Oh. The crewman oh, asks know. the scavenger to take a close look, see if he thinks it's the same sickness with both their titans. That might tell them something. The scavenger looks down. He can see the other crew members, the other family members, all looking up at him, expectant. The scavenger says he'll take a look as best he can. Hmm. The loss of glow is about the same. And there is that same greenish tint as well. The pulses of light are lasting about four seconds. The scavenger says, yes, it's probably the same sickness. The crewman looks worried. If they tell the wrong person, he says, they may end up getting asked to leave Argentum. They can't afford that. The scavenger thinks and has an idea. They can ask the chairman of the bazaar. He keeps track of shipments, and he should know when medicine is coming in next. 
All they need to do is avoid mentioning that their titans are unwell. The crewman hesitates, but agrees. My friends, let's head to the chairman's office. But if you jump off, I will remember. What are you saying? I said left. the rest of your life, not the rest of my yeah. life. You won't remember it very long, man. What's the story of my life? If you jump off, then I don't think you have a very long one to remember you. Oh, oh, I just got it now. Only, there's only stamina decrease. Well done. That's how you're supposed to do it. That way you oh, won't miss a thing. Yeah. 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 These people who are already on oh, this platform, call them so wrong. Shame on them. Exactly. Shame. 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 I've jumped down every single time. Someone get no, that Abby. Oh, jump down every single time. We're in the base. If I like only be gone for a for like half a second, does that still count? You can't use magic to negate my judgment. That is true. Ooh. What if I use gifts? But you can't use magic to pretend it doesn't exist. In, simulator, <laughs> in this VR traveler's world, we obey the laws of game. Is it just you, boy? You'd be the automatic option? There would only be one In viable there, option. Wow. Uh, See? <laughs> a battle to the death? No comment. Getting shot the <laughs> VR Travelers Tour Guide Dating Simulator with all of our favorite tour guides in it. Yes. Getting shot again? I request a new dance floor in Argentine. Argent. Whatever we call this place. Have you submitted a time ticket? Argentum. I would like to ask. Here's my for, submission. Uh... Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's a fine for that. You're going to have to come back after three and business do you still days after paying the fine, and then take another submission ticket and wait for your number to be called. Mutiny! Speaking of fun. not a ship, you can't mutiny here. Yes, you we can. Like you want the story to continue. The scavenger and crewman yes. step into the chairman's office once he's free. The chairman, as always, comes across as an abrasive and busy man. But the scavenger knows him and knows that deep down, He's just a big softy. The scavenger greets him with finger guns and a big grin and butters him up with some small talk and compliments. The chairman isn't having it. He asks what he wants, and the scavenger inquires about the last shipment that had Titan medicine on it. The chairman sighs, takes out his big old ledger, and starts leafing three pages. After a minute, he says the last shipment never came in. His expression is, What is that? Is he afraid? Before he can ask anything else, the chairman looks up suddenly and says they must both leave at once. They turn and look. And standing in the doorway is the commander of the Black Torna ship. The scavenger and crewman shrink back, thank the chairman for his time, and step outside. The crewman thanks the scavenger for his help, and agrees to buy him a meal and room at the inn so they can all figure out what to do in the morning. The scavenger finds it impossible to say no to free food. The crewman hands the scavenger enough coin for both, and disappears to do something else. My friends, 
Let's go up and have some nom noms. Damage resistance and potency. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, Energon works wonders if you're a robot. I only subsist off with stuff to the blood of the giant ants. Not every uh, machine. Wait, that's actually a good question. Oh god, you have a mouth defense. Wait, what am I doing? Can I recharge? I mean, the only power source I mainly had doesn't really exist anymore, so it dissipated, so... See Toggle, the ops demanding it. I don't think anyone uses her much. Maybe. There's gotta be some other way you can charge. So sick. Uh, hello. I will take. So sick. I want to fast about dark halls, apparently. So Let's let's have a bar this time. Say, I wonder what those two teachers are. You know, every time I ask people where we should sit, they always pick a table down here. Let's pick a table up here for once. Ooh, okay. Why is there furnaces? These tables are a lot work. I don't like these as much. I don't know, these just... Montez would love to the floor table. Not much, honestly. Okay, Gather round, friends. Where's the meat? Gather oh, round. Like the story oh, will continue. Story time. Yeah, see, these are, I think these are HP extenders. Hey, story time! Whoa, 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 whoa. Daddy, Daddy Trajim, story time! The story is for Call him Daddy Trajim. <laughs> what? <laughs> Never <laughs> say that again. Whoa, whoa. Please don't. How dare. <laughs> my face is too scary. We have Ether. gone past the point of no return. <laughs> well, the dating sim is getting developed now. Anyway. <laughs> Out of all your first degree assaults, Elman, this one hurts the most. I don't know what you're all talking about. My name has always been Daddy Jim. Check the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, I thought it was Trade Jim the Tour Jim. <laughs> oh, no. oh no. I'll stick Don't with Trade Jim. No. I thought it was Trade Jim the Tour Jim. <laughs> Something wonderful. You released the demon. Oh man, you have, you have done a horrible act. He must today. Mm -hmm. You magnificent man. <laughs> <laughs> Why you change the timeline like this? We're supposed to say Matoy, not change names! He <laughs> <laughs> must be shot. <laughs> so he's an imposter <laughs> now. So he's no longer trades him, he's an imposter. My friends, anyway. destroy the Sith, not join them. Kindly your silence and listen to Daddy Jim. story. The story. Please, someone quote that. Yeah. The scavenger arrives at the inn alone. He is greeted by a waiter, chooses a table, and makes his order, which is going to be a bowl of soup and a single apple. <laughs> he looks about as he waits. It's not very busy. But everyone else who is here is eating with someone else. He feels a little awkward. But then suddenly remembers. He told Gramps he would be right back. Oh, that was a while ago. He opens up a mental link and sends a quick message to him. Looking for medicine. Staying here tonight. See you in the morning. There's no reply, but that's normal. His food arrives, and as he begins to eat, he notices something. Someone has walked up to his table and is just standing there. The person sits down. He looks up. Oh, it's just the crewman. But the crewman is looking very worried. He leans in, and he says he just overheard 
that the last shipment was destroyed by that Torna vessel. The Torna commander is claiming it was an accident. Apparently it showed up as something different on their radar. He's here to sort it out with Argentum's admiral, apparently. The crewman pauses and looks about. And he says he thinks it was sabotage. The crewman smirks and says he wants to sneak onto the Torna vessel before dawn, he adds, and he wants the scavenger to help. The scavenger isn't sure. He thinks about what would happen to Gramps if they were caught. But then he thinks, what if the crewman is right? What if Torna stole the whole shipment? Why would they do that? The scavenger agrees. Meet me in the bazaar before dawn, the crewman repeats, and he gets up and leaves the scavenger to his meal. The scavenger digs into his single apple. Sneaking onto the Torna ship sounds <laughs> thrilling. But, as the food coma sets in, the adrenaline slowly wears off. And so, he goes to check into a room, using the last of the crewman's coin. This way, friends. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's some good enough. cucumber soup. <laughs> Yeah, that soup wasn't really much. Just an Asian please. Yeah. I don't know what else I can do to... Alright, so we gotta micromanage. If he here is comfortable with sleeping on a floor... How can you top that? <laughs> yeah, I don't think... <laughs> there's enough the space like... There's enough room in here. Yeah, my machine the desk. sounds weird. I don't think you can top Daddy Jim. That's not how it works. <laughs> Whoa now. No, Daddy Jim oh, will talk to you. Someone call the house. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Someone help me. Hide inside this You cannot see if I'm making my head on the table. Daddy Jim will find you. You cannot hide from your sins. <laughs> Emotional damage. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh God. Is anyone paying attention to the story? Well, out of attention to the story, yeah. it's just like... Nah, no, the cell phone yeah. is dead. Uh, the the table. Table. game is way more interesting. Everyone, uh, it's complete on the, the table. On the table. God damn it. Wait, no. Sam's telling a story? Yes, you are. <laughs> yeah, I just realized oh, that. Shiny, right? oh. What were we doing here? In that case, my friends, I have a request for you all. A simple instruction. Once more, go into your audio settings and turn the world music all the way down to zero. I repeat, turn your world music down to zero. The scavenger sleeps restlessly. Dreams and images flash before his eyes. He sees the black outline of the Torna vessel, lined with silver moonlight. He sees a blue bird with one wing spiraling out of a vast empty sky. He sees an empty hallway made of steel, filled with swirling dust and smoke. He sees a red moon rise over a sea of crimson, a great round eye. He sees a figure burst from a window with an explosion of glass and fire tumbling down down into a dark, jagged landscape. 
he sees a once mighty stone tower fallen to ruin, slowly being consumed by a thrashing grey sea. And he sees the face of Gramps, emotionless, gills dark, slowly sinking beneath the surface of the cloud sea. The scavenger wakes up. Someone bangs on his door. He gets up and opens it and sees the crewman standing there with a bag over one shoulder. You would have gotten caught, he says with a wry expression, and he goes on to explain that he, alone, managed to get two doses of medicine by himself. That sneaky rascal. He did it without us. Hmm. It does seem like the scavenger slept in, though. Too many dreams. He also asks the scavenger to help him. Nobody on his ship knows how to administer this particular medicine. Their doctor died only two weeks ago. The scavenger is annoyed that the crewmen snuck off without him. But also, to be asked to do such a thing is an honour. Just as he steps outside his room, the scavenger feels a shift. He feels a break, a tear. His psychic link with Gramps is shattered. My friends, normally at this point in the story, you have a choice to make. The choices are Option A Do not help the crewman give the medicine to his family's titan and instead go and see what's wrong with Gramps first. Or Option B Do help the titan of the crewman's family first and check on Gramps afterward. Yep. Yeah, it's up one, so. I, no, I want to say it's not going to be option A. Option A. I'm going to say it's not going to be option Let's go B here. Now it's those people. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Well, I mean, uh, well, most likely a chance. I'm most likely a chance. If Gramps falls, choice. most likely a chance two minutes are going to exist. Choice, right? We oh, are voiceless. My friends. Your two options, A and B. We're holding a vote. If you want to be a hero, stand on this side of the room. But if you are a selfish person, stand on this side of the room. That's a hint. I know what I am. Wait. Well, this is the good ending. Yeah. That's right. This is the illusion of choice. It doesn't matter what you pick. The encephalon is going to override it. But <laughs> like is is an option what are you doing? I'd rather My be friend. selfish. You can stay here and be selfish. The rest of us are going to continue the story. This way, friend. <laughs> Free will. Free will. We are <laughs> slaves to. They got the wrecked world. by Daddy Jim. <laughs> Daddy okay, yep. can we agree to like stop calling him that now? No. no. I don't know. Name him the something Discord. Something. If you don't name him yeah, properly, are you still in dust? And no one wants to be punished by Daddy. <laughs>
like the, the next three run tour for like Probably. a Saturday. This is the scanner now. This is the new scanner. He will be dead. God damn it. It's like he God damn it. He will never come back. What, just like that one. Mm. Uh, and so... Well, I mean, if, it, uh, Jim here is the... Sail away, sail away. Of the VR Travelers, who's the mommy? It's like Jim here. His name is not Jim. What's wrong with having three stars? I mean, I did see someone yeah, recently in PSO2. Someone who died, the and then them dying. Wait, wait, it's like, oh, it's like, it's like, it's like, name your PSO2 character daddy, and then you, ha and then you have to talk to him a toy. Wait. <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, don't do that to that innocent girl. Come on. Hey, it's a pre hey, it's Slayer's fault for name naming themselves daddy. Oh god. We are a wholesome community. Ether, don't we're, a wholesome community. we're a wholesome community. We're a wholesome yeah, community. We're a wholesome community. We're a wholesome community. Yeah, we're a wholesome X. We are a cult. We are a cult. Ether, we are a cult. We are a cult. Ether, don't climb up. We are a cult. We are a cult. We are a cult. We are not yes, a cult. Yeah, we're we're we are. we are not a yeah, we're cult. definitely not a cult. Praise the cube. <laughs> Praise the cube. <laughs> culty cult. Yeah, cube cult. There's a guy made out of rectangles right there. It's not a rectangle. I fail to see the issue. <laughs> <laughs> this is a religion. There's an old father right there. <laughs> I, I am going insane. <laughs> Ah, uh, PSO2 chat is very unique. It is. <laughs> Shit, where's the continue dialogue button? I think we lost it. I think this game game's all fucked. Oh, found it. And oh, sorry, I forgot to press X. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe it's a dog. They both look up. The Titan's gills have almost gone dark. The entire ship creaks and groans as cargo slides along the angled deck. He got bad quickly. There isn't much time left, my friends. More backtracking. Yay, this way. <laughs> Emergency. Oh, hey. Code. Rescue. Yay, you get to do things wrong and badly. I love breaking. I love messing up. Deploying it. God damn it, senior items. Skipping the uh, development stage and just deploying the, the update to direct it to production. Imagine using your legs. That seems like a very uh, useless use of energy. In PSO2, like cast are able to hover. Yeah, you're using your legs right now. <laughs> Don't skip yeah, leg day. Is an option to hover. Long live the king. Oh. With dark oh, hey, it's another titan. Oh, we are the titans. Is, is that supposed to be there? Kicks. What a thrill. Looking out at our cube, showing. Well, it ain't, well, it ain't fall spawn, so that's good. Um, yep. Not dark fall, so we don't have to beat it up. Now they are. Everyone's good. Good, because I forgot my well, weapons at home. My friend. King, live long. <laughs> We're all having a lot of fun on tonight's story, but I would just like to remind you that there are lives on the line. Just because they exist in a narrative domain, does that mean they don't have the same right to live that you do? This is absolutely well, correct. That was a rhetorical question, and the story continues. The I ship's the hull is slowly sinking. The clouds of ether spilling across the deck. His family are screaming for them to hurry. They both clamber up staircase after staircase and make it to the top the crewman holds the scavenger steady the scavenger holds his breath and applies the medicine
the effects. I'll wrap it. The gills flash once, and then they glow blue steadily. The color returns. The ship is pulled out of the great cloud sea. They all cheer and rejoice. They are saved. But the scavenger... The scavenger is preoccupied. He reaches out with his mind for gramps. There's nothing. Gramps is gone. Something happens then to steal his attention. And it's not those birds, a noise that rattles him <laughs> to the bone. The deck vibrates. Argentum itself creaks. He looks up. Goldmouth, the great titan, is weeping. Yes. He sees it just a quick glimpse. Something shining blue falls from the eye of the mighty titan, a single tear, and plummets toward the upper deck of the Argentum. And standing there already, as though knowing what was going to happen, is the commander of the Torna vessel. The scavenger clenches his fists. My friends, it is time for a confrontation this way. Let's get up. Let's kick it. Emergency. Way. Code. Duel. Let's go. Get that motherfucker. Uh, it's really <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. don't know what fall damage means. A titan has paid really in Lego City. <laughs> hey! Don't worry, Grant didn't wait, die. Wait, we just threw the whole part of the stage. That was close. I'm reviving you. <laughs> you were revived. Blah, I live. Thank you, Robotic. Spoilers to season two. <laughs> <laughs> that whole conflict of characters in the narrative. Guys, there's a giant monster. It's really a season two. And goes to the rest of the ship. A titan has fallen into the river at Lego City. We must get in the giant barga and punch it in the face. A titan has fallen to the river. Start the new rescue helicopter. Hey, in a random accent, I forgot that um Xenoblade has. An ally has fallen. Yeah. I can't believe it. Everybody needs a party. Remember. Memetic meme complex. Meme is their fuel. We're going to attack the enemy's meme. I will not be cursed by my recessive memes. We are going to get if I God, I can't I assume. Do not un do not underestimate our memes. Restorate. Have you heard of six I figured it out. We just need to Have you heard of really monsoon? Hard. It is funny because mm -hmm. Interesting. Breaking, there's a slight difference. <laughs> no, I don't. So I'm making there he is. The commander of the torn ship has noticed the scavenger, who is now joined by the crewman. The commander has company, two Tornan gunmans, and in his hands, he carries a small box. 
even without seeing what's inside, the scavenger can feel some sort of energy. There's some noise behind them. Two of the guards of Argentum are rushing up to see what's going on up here. But before they can say anything, the commander gives a single gesture and both his gunmen fire at the guards. The light is hot and bright and there's the sound of material being disintegrated. Out of nowhere, the crewman dives forward. Taking advantage of everyone's shock, he manages to tackle one of the gunmen to the ground. Now he screams as the gunman's weapon falls to the side. My friends, you only have a moment to decide what to do. And your choices are as follows. <laughs> if you want to go for the weapon, Please stand in front of me. Wait, if you want to attack the here? standing gunman, please leave. Uh. If you want to attack the commander, <laughs> please leave. If you want to flee, please leave. This is my way of saying okay, you have one bye option. Bye. I'm kidding. Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> Oh, All right, let's do a reshuff. <laughs> Bye. Have we're a using. We're going to use the. Ra we're going to use the gunner. We're going to use the ranger class. Are you sure this packs. other crewman guy is not the protagonist? No, He's doing a whole lot more than we stuff. are. Never forget. Let's use T Ranger. <laughs> we downloaded early, I think. Ranger is always good. Reshuffle. I'll wait for those not true. funny people always to come back. That flight round. Have fun. <laughs> Gunner has that chain trigger. Oh, mm -hmm. you've all decided okay, to make the right decision. Says good. Then it's good. My friends, yeah, does the enough. group want to go for the weapon? Now! Yes. I'll try my best to go against the... Allow the encephalon. Encephalon. Yeah, I will, if I can find it. Or I Come back again, at least. Very well. The group's decision is 100% unanimous. The scavenger sees the crewman dive heroically into one of the gunmen. He is inspired. He spots the gun lying on the ground and lunges toward it. A hot blast of light goes past him, barely missing him. The heat from it is unbelievable. But the pair of them, the crewman and the scavenger, coordinate like clockwork. The crewman is already tackling the other gunman as he's distracted. The scavenger picks up the dropped weapon, scrambles to his feet, and points it straight at the commander. Give up, he warns. The commander slowly raises his arms. Slam! An Argentum guard tackles the commander to the ground. The scavenger watches as the box bounces once and opens, and a blue crystal, the tear of Goldmouth, rolls out and rolls toward the edge. He rushes and dives to grab it, it's too late. He sees it fall into the clouds below. The clouds open to accept the strange crystal. The gunman and the commander are all restrained and arrested. Goldmouth is alive and well. The crewman's titan is alive and well. Everyone breathes a sigh of relief. The crewman approaches the scavenger. He looks nervous. He says that the scavenger did a truly selfless action 
and he feels responsible for the scavenger losing both his home and his titan. The scavenger puts on a brave face and assures him that no, it's all right, even though inside it stings. The crewman says he has an offer for the scavenger. He wants him to join their family, to live with them on their ship. He can still scavenge, of course, but he won't need to be alone anymore. The scavenger is overcome. How is he meant to respond to such a thing? He nods, yes, of course. I would be honored. One of the Argentum guards signals to them. They walk over to him. The Admiral of Argentum wants to see you, he says. The scavenger and crewman look at one another, perplexed and excited, and they follow their escort. My friends, please, follow me. Oh my. 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 Something a little bit with uh, ranger rifles can't be on this. I mean, seriously, have you seen how many times we select the same thing? Are you thinking the same thing I'm thinking? I'm surprised she hasn't pointed at herself in that in that area. Honestly, so no, am I. No, because I don't have psychic powers. I mean, but I, I, I've seen Risha is, on the Risa last is so of Attack on Titan. In, like, into, like, guns. I'm surprised she hadn't gone very intimate with okay, it. Previously on Dragon Ball Z. Isn't that uh, one of the ones that Attack on Titan? Oh, wow, that is so cool. Uh, yeah. Previously on DuckTales. Okay. Except for that one. I'm glad she didn't pull the trigger. Also yeah, missing the purple Ranger pistol, which obviously is Previously on Ether Basket. Previously on Yu-Gi-Oh. Probably. Previously on Yu-Gi-Oh. 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 Previously on Yu-Gi-Oh.
Titans are the infant forms of higher beings, filled with hundreds and thousands of years worth of ether and intelligence. Once they accumulate enough ether, they descend into the realms below the cloud sea. By this time, Titans are so great in power that they essentially become gods. This is why Titans are vanishing. As population increases in the sub-sea realms, the cloud sea, which is made of ether, becomes more dense. An increased density leads to Titans reaching their final stage faster, which means they leave faster than they are being born. As a result, after a while, there will in fact be nobody left up here. The scavenger doesn't know what to think. Realms beneath the cloud sea? Dense ether, titans becoming gods? Does that mean Gramps is actually... The Admiral interrupts his thoughts and goes on to say that the journey down through the Aether Sea is one that destroys any human who attempts it. But he knows of a way. He's looking now at the scavenger and crewman, and they look at one another. We have a chance, says the Admiral. That blue crystal you saw fall into the cloud sea is pure ether. It will eventually make it to the lower realm, he thinks. As such, it also acts as a potential titan egg. The scavenger can feel his whole body surge with adrenaline. He can almost hear the words before the admiral speaks them. I know how to survive the descent through the Cloud Sea, and I want you to, to do it for me. Yo, My friends, what? congratulations and welcome to the good ending of The Scavenger. Friends, the event is yeah, far from over. Mm -hmm. Let's before see what I put got. you back into the hands of Sheen, and before we take a group photo, oh, yeah, rank. let me explain you guys rank. something about The Scavenger Part 2, which will be running in a couple of weeks, perhaps. Ooh. Unlike the reruns over the past few months, the Scavenger 2 will not have said endings. Huh? This means mm? that I will run the Scavenger 2 several times for you all. And you, even though it can be solved on the first visit, can explore this tour over the following month or two. <laughs> and as the name suggests, yes. it does indeed follow on from this story. Good. What does lie below, below and beneath the ether sea? Will they find the ether crystal? And is it a titan egg? And is Gramps somewhere down there? Find out the answers to these questions and more in the scavenger part two. <laughs> My friends, so is see. this a good place for a group photo? I think oh, yes. Yeah, right yeah. here. Yeah. Right here. Can we have Don't accidentally jump through the window like I did. There's no glass. Yeah, there's no collision. <laughs> there is glass, but there's no collision. This thing tells me that this is going to be yeah, the final arc yeah. yeah. of season yeah. one. My friends, oh, we're facing this way. I want to make sure no one's in this window area and face the entrance. Wonder what face green chickens they're going to have with this one. Ooh. I hope they have ocean uh, themed stuff. We need to collect all the all boxes the from the people we killed. Green, do you have there. everyone's avatars shown? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, I do. Usually does. 
Oh, oh. Got oh. Oh. Friends, well, on the count of three, I don't think EDF has rares on dare I ask what we're all saying together? Stars. Dad Jim. Thank you, Daddy. Daddy? To be continued? Dad Jim. Daddy 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 Two, was one. the was the camera? Do we continue? Daddy. Daddy. Jim is not the father. It is now complete. Cloud C is looking awfully inviting. Yes. I wonder why that scene is looking yeah, awfully yeah, inviting. We could have like a, like, like a poster, like a game. Oh, like hey, look at another ship. Let's ram it. Where we're all like facing one. Oh, no, no, no. Off in, like a line. The camera you can see the edge of the skybox like, from here. Yeah, we could do that. That'd be Travelers, travelers, your attention, please. Give your Rescue. observation line of wave collapsing. Directly to me. 10,000 thank yous. And travelers, before I say another word, put your hands together for the one, the only, Trajim the tour guide. Yeah! Yeah! Where is he? Oh, yeah! 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 Praise Q! Praise the Q! Praise the Q! Trajim, thank you for creating this tour for us. It has been an adventure. From those of us that first went on it on VRCon, to those of us now that have been on it, and finally seen the good ending, that we have been waiting for for so long. Trey Jim, this is a masterpiece. And from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you for your performance. Trey Jim, thank you. Now then, travelers. A few announcements for you. There are a few newcomers here, and to those, we say, we are VR Travelers. We create immersive, story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, wholesome team effort, and voice acting. We do this for fun. We do this for free. However, we do ask one thing in return. Travelers, newcomers, kindly join our Discord. The Discord community is where you can post your photos and comments from today's tour. It is where you can discuss the secrets to our lore, and you can begin to piece together how each of our tours are attached. There are alternate endings, and the clues to those are on our Discord. If you would like to join our Discord, kindly check my status or Trajim's status in VR chat and join the server. Now, finally, if you really enjoy the work our team puts into this and you want to make a difference, you want to directly help us write more stories and create more beautiful worlds, we do ask that you support us on Patreon. Our tours are free, travelers, as a reminder, and they will always be free. But our Patreon is a way to support us in the assets that we use. It is only $3 per month, and joining grants you eligibility to play character roles in our tours. The scavenger from today has no character roles, but most of our other tours do. By joining the Patreon, you will have access to many of the secrets and all of the weird stuff that we put on our Patreon. You will have also access to the 
Patreon Discord channel in our server. Well then, my friends, in about five minutes from now, I will open the portal to the after party. But for now, please remain here. The floor right. is yours. Ready, lead attack. Oh, you need to go to sleep. All right. Well, thank you for joining me tonight. Okay, my guy. I hope you enjoyed yourself. You good? Maybe we can get the cats and get some food. Biako's rolling out. They have to go to. They have to go to bed. Biako's leaving. You weren't wondering where they were since I mean, I know your original plan was to go V cat wandering together. Praise the cube!